Hi, it's Evangeline from eTrader.com and today we are looking at our Inno Aero roof rack kit on our 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Now what's great about having this roof rack is if you need to free up some space from your truck bed, you can put them up on your roof rack as well as if you don't want to worry too much about stressing over an uncomplicated install, this is a good option for you. So let's take a look at the features of this roof rack. Now the first and foremost, my favorite part about this is how streamlined it looks. It really matches the whole look of the Tacoma. It's nice, it's sporty, it looks really good, especially on a new truck like this. And it sits low profile, so it looks good even if there's nothing mounted on it. How low profile exactly? Let's see. So from our roof to the top of our bar, it's about three inches tall. So that's enough like you just have to think about that when you're driving through places you have three extra inches on top of your truck some things people might worry about with this uh, roof rack in particular is how it since it doesn't stick out you might have a little bit less room to mount items and let's see exactly how much space you have to mount accessories so from that end to this end it's about 40 and a half inches so if that's a worry for you you might want to consider getting another roof rack that extends out but some people really like how low profile it is and how it doesn't stick out so if that's something you like then it's a very good option both sides of each crossbar come with locks so they're key to like and you just unlock and you lock it for security and if you're worried about scratching your truck with this easy install, it has these rubber mounts here just designed to prevent scratching. And these hooks are designed to fit perfectly against the contours of your truck so that you can even slam it shut. So let's look at how we installed this. So the first step here is to push the slider out of the bar and you shouldn't be putting your finger inside that slip there but push it out over here where it's safe when this is out you can then insert this plate I like to go from the bottom and then up and you push the slider back inside with the plate if it's stuck you can push that button down to help it slide through all the way till the end just like that until it's centered inside. Then the next step is to get your base stay and this one is locked. So we get the keys and we just unlock that and lift the cover up and out. With that out of the way, you'll look at this stay and this says right, so you have to have a right and a left for each crossbar. What we need to do is insert this bolt here inside the plate. So to do that, I just put it upside down and then I try to center it over. Once it's in there, it'll just drop into place. That looks good. Then you can just slide the slip, the stay out to the end. If you don't know how far your base stay should be, it depends actually if it's the front or the rear bar. I already installed the front bar, so the rear bar is 22 and a quarter inches. Now we have the middle marked out here and you measure all the way to the end to where the arrow is. So right at the arrow to the middle, it says 24 and a quarter. So this should be a good placement right there. We're ready to tighten it down. With your base stay in place, you can then put the foot onto there we go, that way. Now remember for the rear, it's a flat foot or a flat base for the base stay. There you go, that's on right there. And this is to protect your car. After that foot is in place, you can then put the hook on. So to put the hook on, you have to loosen and take out this bolt first. So, and keep the washers with you. You then insert this hook and reinsert the bolt. 
So if both base stays are installed onto the end of your crossbar, you're ready to put it on your truck. So I have a, it's pretty nice to have a set of helping hands here so that you don't accidentally drop it on your truck. So we have Zach over here who's going to grab it the other end from up there as we set it on our truck. To figure out where to place your crossbars, you're going to use a tape measure here and you will measure from the inside seam of the door. So from the door to the middle for the front, it's nine and three quarters, so that looks about right. And from the back base stay, it's supposed to be 17 and three quarters. So it's not exactly there, we're gonna push it a little bit. So to align it into good position, this needs to be 17 and three quarters. So it should be right there. So push it up until it aligns like that. Then we're gonna lock it into place. If you have your base stay measured into the position it needs to be in, you're ready to use the included tool to tighten it down. Now I recommend to go back and forth while tightening it so you don't have too much tension on one side, pulling it and possibly skewing the positions of your crossbar. You've tightened both sides, just tighten it until you hear a clicking sound. There we go, that's tight in there. And to finish our installation, we throw on these caps, then we lock them down. There we go, all done. So it is a pretty good roof rack. Remember it has a weight capacity of 165 pounds, which still is a pretty high capacity. Just keep that in mind when you're driving around, how high it is and how much you can put on there. But all in all, my final thoughts about it is like I like how it looks and I like how easy it was to install. And it is, I like this roof rack. So this was the Inno Aero roof rack kit on our 2020 Toyota Tacoma.